I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the town. Hey guys, welcome to a new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, I'm your host, Manny the Man Lopez, and today we've got a very special edition of PLS Tips. Uh, I'm going to be very blunt with you today, so excuse my um, straightforwardness, as you would kind of put it. Uh, but each week I give you guys some new topics on uh, marketing your business, promoting your business, branding your business, doing what you would do to position yourself as an expert in industry, and today is no different. Uh, last week I got a question. I'm going to pull it up here uh, from PLS Tips, or I think it was about two weeks ago. Um, I wasn't able to do it last week because we already had a topic in place. But uh, the top, the question was, he wanted to know how to deal with, um, let me see the exact verbiage. Could you do a training on difficult and demanding people and the best way to deal with them? This was made by Arick12 uh, at plstips.com. So I wanted to go and um, cover that a little bit. And I actually have some really good insight on that because I've, I've been to a few... Um, you know, masterminds and networking events and conferences with some really big name people. And this question has come up and what to do with customers like this, prospects like this, employees like this, bosses like this, you know, difficult and demanding people. What do you do with them? How do you deal with these types of people? Here's what I do with them. Fire them. Get rid of them. Plain and simple. There is too much opportunity in the world today to give yourself a position that you are just unhappy or stressful or not, you know, it's not your customer. Let's just give them an example here. Let's say you're dealing with a, a customer of yours or a potential customer that is very demanding, that is very, you know, want it this way, has to be done this way, um, very, very specific on what they need. And it's just you're bending over backwards for a client that doesn't give you anything in return other than more things to do for them. At, uh, at a value that you know is is not as much as you're getting paid. And I have this happen a lot of times where I get clients that I know are not good clients of mine. Um, I've been in positions where the income has been at a point where you know I'll take on that client because I just have to bring in some type of business. So I've had that situation where I've taken on the business I don't want to, but I needed to. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you guys have had this. And it ends up being a, a customer service nightmare. It ends up being something where they don't value your product. They don't value your time. They don't value your resources and what you do. They think you're a slave for them. They think you're going to just bend over backwards for them and, and they're, you're going to do it for free. You're going to do it out of the greatness of your heart. And, you know, I, I'd love to work for people and, and do things for them at no cost or low cost, um, but they have to see value. You know, they have to be somebody that sees what I do and is coachable, is understanding of the value I can bring to them and can be, you know, implement into a structure or a system that would make them successful. The last thing I'm going to do is bring on a client. I mean, I, I literally, I've walked away from a 10,000 plus deal because I knew I wouldn't like that client. Not like I wouldn't like that client. I wouldn't like the process with that client because I just know already before we even came on as a client, the demanding time he's like, do this, do that, do this, I want this, I want this, and I'm like, okay, it's just, it's going to be too labor intensive, and it's just, I mean, the, the money's good, but it, there's just times where you know you need to take on business that you know is going to be uh, the right type of client for you. You know, we have 7 billion people in this world, 7 billion people. I know if I gave you 1% of 1% of 1%, I'd make you a millionaire. Just think about those numbers and, and just concept the grasping of that. Most people in their business, they think, too, they think too small. They think, oh, I have this target market of this or I can reach out to my local market here. I only have Facebook to reach out to get new business. They, you know, they're putting all their eggs in one basket and they think, oh, okay, anything I generate there just has to you know, be a customer of mine, right? If I get a client that uh, I know is not going to be working for me, I fire them. I get rid of them. I say, you know what? We're just not working out. Um, if they've already paid me, I'll refund their money or if whatever. It's just, I just, if it's not working out, it ain't working out. I'm not going to invest time into something that's going to make me stressed because I am too blessed to be stressed. Remember that, just like you guys are. So if you're too blessed to be stressed, don't put yourself in situations that is going to make it difficult. Okay. If you're dealing with difficult and demanding people, get rid of them, D delete them. Goodbye. Right? Just, you don't need that. Just say, look, 
we're not working, we don't have synergy. I, so the first thing I do when I talk to someone, I do a discovery call and I'll find out if there's synergy. I gotta find out if you can understand what I'm bringing to you and whether or not that is going to be valuable to you. Do you see a value in what I'm offering? Because that value has to be higher. Remember our last episode or a couple of episodes before, that value has to be higher than what they are going to pay you. Okay. If that value is up here and the pay is down here, the cost, they're going to buy every time. But if the pay is up here and they don't see your value, they're going to see, oh, I'm just wasting money. They're going to think, I wasted money of this. This guy better bend over backwards to make sure it's valuable and I'm getting my money's worth because they see no value in what you're doing. Okay, You have to understand that your customers, your prospects, your employers, your employees, they have to see value in what you do. If they don't see value in what you do, you don't need them. There is many people that will. Like I had um, a recent conversation with my wife about... Uh, uh, a couple of uh, prospects that I have, and um, I have you know a set like an affiliate. For example, I have an affiliate. Okay, I'll give you uh, an example. I'm not going to name any names. I have an affiliate that I want to get into my system, and you know they're always giving me an excuse of, oh, I couldn't reach this many people today because of this. Oh, you know it's a Monday. Da 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 da. You know not many people answer the phones, or hey, it's a Friday. People are out work. They, you know, or not work. They're they're in vacation mode at this time. You know, it's the end of the day. They just want to go and and blah 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 blah. This is every excuse in the book of why he can't follow the instructions. And so I was talking to my wife. And I'm like, what do I do with this affiliate? You know, I I don't know what I should do with them. Um, you know, I, I try to give him instruction, he sees a the value, they see the value, but there's always an excuse, there's always something behind why they're not performing at their peak of what I know they can perform at. So she just straight up said, get rid of them. Why are you wasting time putting in time and effort into something that is not producing results? You know, I have to focus, the most important thing in life today is time. Once you get old enough, you'll realize that. I mean, I'm 28, you know, typically 28 year olds aren't going to realize that time is the most valuable thing you have in life uh, until they're in their 50s and they're all in, in thinking about like, man, I wish I would have, right? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the one that wasted all my time and my efforts with things that weren't making me happy just to be able to get a certain result that ends up making me miserable regardless because I was miserable the entire time of building that and I got on like it's a waste you know it's yeah I got paid for it, but it's like oh, I'm custom sorry about that guys um, but it's just like you, you can't keep wasting time and efforts to things that's not going to bring you value and happiness right so that's my focus I don't want to waste my time building up somebody else's dream I mean that's why I left this company here you see all these little plaques and everything that I got through this company I mean, I broke every record in the company. You know, it's 10 months in a row, number one. Um, you know, I did everything they told me to do. I was came in early. I left late. I worked on Saturdays. I did everything they said. Still didn't get where they told me I would get. And so I was like, why am I going to continue wasting my time building you? I mean, that plaque right there, those two plaques. One of them is a 200,000 club and the other one is salesman of the year. Okay. The owner of the, co of the company... The time he was giving out that plaque, because we do a Christmas party, they give out you know, all the bonuses or whatever, right? So it comes to uh, myself. Now, keep in mind, okay, I've made this guy just in first payments, okay, 200000 over $200,000 in his, in his uh, business, okay? On top of that, every client that I signed up paid that same amount for that first payment every month. So if I sign that client up for $300, that client signed up for three hundred dollars that first month, three hundred dollars second, fourth, fifth, sixth. I mean, that's how it was set up, okay? And the company would receive uh, a very big chunk of that. So, in actuality, I mean, the guy had like four or five Lamborghinis, uh, all this stuff with his his stuff, and he comes to the stage, and this is where I realized I had no value with this company. They they didn't value my efforts, okay? I get up there, he gets on stage and he's like reading off the people that are 100,000 club, 150,000 club. He gets to him and he's like, oh wow, I didn't even know we had someone that hit the 200,000 club. How do you not know how much your top producer in your company is making you? I paid for two or three of those Lamborghinis myself just from what I produced in your company. You're telling me you don't know what I've done? Like, oh, that was just irate to me. But it was just like, why do you I just kept thinking to myself why do i keep putting my effort into this 
build your own dream, man. Go do it yourself. And that's what I did. At 2009, I left that company. Uh, had my first company by 2010. Um, no, actually, I had a company a little bit before that. Um, it was a small company, a uh, DVD renting machine. It's kind of like Redbox, but it was a little different. Um, and then started my my advertising and, and branding business, and it just it grew from there. So my my aspect is really making sure that I'm providing a unique value to my customer base, to my prospects, to where I don't have to go out there and chase the people. I don't cold call. I don't sit there and 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 hammer the phones and and try to get people on on to see what I do. No, I've I've set it up differently now. I've given out all my value online. I put it out there for the world to find, for the world to see. I, you know, partner up with companies um, to be able to provide, um, you know, something of, of value to them, to where they can provide that to their industry or whatever, right? And and I and I position my business in a way that says, here's my value. Everybody, check it out. Contact me if you see value in me, right? That's the mindset you should have in your business. Give that value. And wait for that ex that return. Wait for the people to find you and say, I saw your stuff. Like, I get this all the time. People go through my training. I, they call me up and they say, Manny, oh my God, I went through all of your training in the back office. I went through all this and it was so awesome. And it was so this and da 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 And they, they get the value. And that means when I tell them, okay, so if you want to get better at promoting the power lead system through, you know, solo ads or you want to do, you know, email swipes or you want to do Facebook advertising or whatever it is that you want to do, I'll give them instructions say, hey, if you see value in me, great. Well, here's what you should do to be successful. They copy it step by step and they're successful. It's a no-brainer. The problem I always get is I get the guys who are combative, who are, who are uh, uh, argumentative and they just want to say, oh, okay, well, I've been doing it for this long and this, da, da, da. It's like, well, then why are you on my phone? Okay, well, why are we doing this if it's something that you don't even understand or you don't see value in or you're going to be contradictory in everything I tell you anyway? There's a reason I'm at the position I'm at. There's a reason I'm here where I'm at today. And the same thing with you. It doesn't matter if you're starting out on the power lead system, if you're starting out in your home-based business, if you're starting out if you don't even have a network at all. You educate yourself, get yourself in a position of leadership, of understanding the knowledge in your industry, and share that knowledge. When you share that knowledge, people are going to see that and provide content for you. They're going to provide resources for you. They're going to provide referrals for you. They may even become a customer of yours. you got to get in the mindset of just saying goodbye to everyone that does not see value in what you do and put yourself and surround yourself with people who do. You know, they, they say that you are who... You know, give me a list of your friends and I'll tell you who you are, some, something like that. And it's true. You know, the people you surround yourself with, the people that you put in your circle is what is going to create you. You know, if you surround yourself with millionaires and billionaires, you are going to end up becoming a millionaire or billionaire. It's just that simple. You just, it's just how economics works and how, you know, the whole process works. If you surround yourself with a bunch of poor people and that's all you do and you hang out with a bunch of poor people all day, you're going to end up getting their habits and doing what they do, becoming lazy and poor. Or you can become uh, successful and, 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 and passionate about what you do and, and find something that makes you tick and surround yourself with people that are already successful so you can follow their path and, and use them for advice and, and knowledge and resources and say, well, not use them, but tap into their mindset to where you can, you know, gain knowledge from them, you know, become a, a student uh, of them. You know, anybody that's above you, above me, I become a student of, you know, anybody that I've seen that has something that is unique, you know, even people that aren't even as successful as me, they're on their way up there. You know, there's going to be value no matter who you talk to. There's going to be something that you could take from that person and translate it into more value of what you do. You're going to be educating yourself on either what you should do or what you should not do in every situation. But last but not least, make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that see value in you, plain and simple. If you're not doing that, you're failing, plain and simple. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, my phone is blowing up right now, but oh well. So I'm going to leave that at that. It's going to be a pretty short PLS tips today. I wanted to make it no less than about 15 minutes or so. So uh, that is that. I um, hope you guys saw some value in what that is today. If you like this, please share it uh, to your team with social media, like, comment, whatever you want to do on this, but at least give me some type of interaction and show that uh, this is responding. I mean, tell me how crappy it is if you didn't like it. I don't care. Give me something that shows... 
Um, I want to hear from you guys. I want to see what this, these training, these videos are doing for you guys, whether it's giving you some resources, giving you some value, or is it just wasting your time? You know, let me know. Uh, I love the feedback. Um, you know, give me more topics. Like I said, just like today, you know, it was a, it was a, uh, provide a topic for somebody's question and um, just want to see how I can help. So you guys have a great day. I will see you all next week and always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.